Hey, a good Wednesday morning. It is the 8th of January. Happy happy birthday to my sister Jeannie. Today is her birthday. I won't tell you which. Uh, so it's morning gospel. And we have our readings. And it's actually a continuation. Yay. From yesterday from Mark's reading. So it's verses, chapter 6, verses 45 through 52. And in it, it's a continuation. You remember Jesus fed the 5,000 yesterday. Today, is this, in, out of Mark's scene, is he's walking on the water. He sends the disciples ahead of him, and they're having trouble on the boat with the wind against them. Jesus comes and walks across the water. They're all scared, and he says, why are you afraid? But it ends with this great line. It says, on the contrary, their hearts, the disciples' hearts, were burned, uh, hardened, because they did not understand the incident loaves. So they didn't understand anything. And that's part of what Mark's Gospel does. It kind of shows how the disciples did not understand because their hearts were hardened. I think for us, we always get, we have to be careful that our hearts are not hardened. And there's a lot that can we can let harden our hearts. But it's all our choice. You know, we can work to resolve whatever is out there. That's what Christ is always calling for us to do. That's why he says, be compassionate, forgive, merciful. That's about opening up our hearts, creating those natural hearts, as, as the Old Testament will say. So we have to be we have to make that choice to not let our hearts be hard. We have to make that choice to to resolve what is what is hurting in our lives and then move forward. And that's the way we, you know, we keep our, our hearts alive, natural, and we can see the wonders that, that God is doing in our in our lives and the lives of others. So make that effort today. Don't harden your heart and uh, have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.